Right, you lot. Happy New Year. This is the first live video I've done of the year. So it's great to be back, getting into the swing of things. Now, before, before I get into this, want to let me know, are, are you still struggling with the uh, the Christmas chocolates and uh, mince pies and stuff like that? I was hoping to get rid of them the other day because Mrs. W bought an absolute ton of them and they're still downstairs in our sort of lounge area. Um, open up the cupboards. They're there. They're everywhere. And it's no good if you're trying to get back in the groove with this health and fitness like. And I'm sure many of you are trying to get back in the groove. And that's what today's video is about. I'm looking to give you a bit of ancient wisdom to, to help you get back into the swing of things and make sure that you don't fail, basically, because January 19th is quitters day. I don't know if you knew that. January 19th is quitters day. And that's the time where people just bin, <laughs> bin their, their goals, their, their new habits, and you go back to their old ways. So I don't want that to happen to you. So make sure you pay attention in this video. If you're watching live, make sure you say hello. And if you're watching the replay, stick a hashtag replay down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and carry on this conversation later on. So this is the Health is Wealth show. If you've never seen me or this show before, my name is Gavin. I'm the head coach at Body Fixers and I'm looking to help you sort out your health and fitness, maybe lose some of that belly fat. Okay. So my my tip for you for today, okay. A lot of people are doing this now. Every, everybody across the world and across the nation in the UK are looking to transform their diet. It's like complete diet overhaul. They're doing killer workouts, they're throwing everything at it. And that is a recipe for disaster because it doesn't work. Time and time again, people do this year after year after year. You may have done this before as well, where you've gone all in trying to change everything. And it may get to that third week in January. And what happens? Things start to come up undone, the wheels fall off, and you start to go back to your old way. So rather than doing that, your your words or what, what how shall I phrase this? I, I often often say this too. It's, hey Debbie, good to see you. Great to see you in here. But Debbie, you would have heard this before. Absolutely. So baby steps, rather than trying to tr completely change your lifestyle in one go in January, it's not going to happen. Do one thing at a time. OK, baby steps. So look at your obstacles. What if your goal is to lose, let's say, 10, 10 pounds, just as an example. What do you need to do? What obstacles do you need to change in your current lifestyle? to make sure that you get there okay so it may be that uh, you're not getting enough sleep or you get to the middle of the afternoon and you're raiding the cookie jar you've eaten all the biscuits or maybe in the evening you know you've got the kids to bed and you have a, a glass of wine or something like that so what obstacles are in the way and what things do you need to change not just in january but going forward the whole of the month and then think all right let's do one thing at a time so maybe it's getting to sleep earlier so you can get your workout in, in the next day and you're full of energy. So rather than going to bed at midnight and getting up at six, it's, it's going to be tough. So think of the one thing. I call this the rule of one. So think of what you can change and make that a habit. OK. And speaking of which, I've got a goal getting and habit stack and action plan. I don't, I've got, actually got it here. I wasn't going to mention this, but while, while we're on the subject, check it out. All right. So goal getting habit stacking action plan. OK, so if you want to copy that, just let me know. Stick it. Stick a little. Uh, actually, write goal getter, write goal getter in the comments and I'll make sure you get a copy of that. OK, so it looks at your habits and the things that you need to do to transform your health and other parts of your life as well. OK, but do one thing at a time. And then as you get better at that one thing, stack things up on top of that rather than trying to do them all at once because it just doesn't happen. I've seen it time and time again. You've seen it year after year. So baby steps is my top tip for you today okay so slow and steady progress that works better than trying to go all in and doing a big seesaw so you go all in and you might lose some weight but come february those habits will come back you know what i'm talking about right so baby steps all right and if you are looking to lose some belly fat and do it the right way sustainable way then i've got a five-day challenge which starts on monday next week and you can do this anywhere you are in the world, okay? It doesn't matter where you are, what time it is or anything like that. You can do this five-day challenge. So five days are going to be lots of tasks 
lots of engagement. We have a private Facebook group and it's for women over 40 that, that are fed up with the yo-yo know, dieting, the all or nothing approach and want something that's sustainable that they can keep chipping away at and make it a lifestyle. So those results stay. So you slim your waistline, you, you have more energy, more confidence, but you don't just do it for a month, okay? We're looking to make it a lifestyle, make it permanent, okay? So if you're interested in that, stick challenge in the comments and I will follow up with you and make sure you get the link and you can go and register, check it out, see all the comments and things like that from people who've done it before, okay? All right, so that's enough from me today. I hope you're well. Again, happy new year and I will see you for another live on Monday. So we do this live show every Monday and Thursday, one o'clock UK time. So figure that, figure out what time that is for you and I will see you next time, okay? All right, bye for now.